Good evening, good evening. Evening. Thanks for coming. Welcome to the final show of the season. And what a week it's been. God bless the United States of America. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. That's enough of that. Now, <laughs> you might call it soccer, but you're not scared of nasty old Mr. Blatter. FIFA was rocked on Wednesday when a number of their officials were arrested in Switzerland, although Sepp Blatter was not implicated. Yes, we got the Kappa regimes, but not the Don. <laughs> Too much? No, OK. Uh, the officials were implicated in corruption and racketeering, which is essentially an organised crime decathlon. Now, examples of racketeering activity include extortion, money laundering, loan sharking, obstruction of justice, bribery, 800 metres and the pole vault. <laughs> Ramesh Ranganathan and Ian Moore are ready to take a bite out of FIFA and the other big stories, so let's tuck in. The football's on! <laughs> yes. Hello, mate. Hello, mate. Yes. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show, being brought to you this week from the spacious surroundings of a prison cell block in the outskirts of Zurich. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a quiet week, the Queen's speech was rather overshadowed by events in Switzerland. There were revelations that Chuck Blazer, I love that name, <laughs> Chuck Blazer, the disgraced ex-American president of the CONCACAF Football Federation, kept an apartment purely for his cats. That must have stunk, mustn't it? It must have smelled so bad. And now, even though he weighed 32 stone, he was also often spotted riding the streets of New York on a scooter. How could you miss him? Uh, <laughs> and also, he would travel the world with his pet McCorm Max on his shoulder, and he once met Nelson Mandela, and so did Chuck Blazer. Because <laughs> 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 they thought I was talking about the McCoy, you oh, see? the old bait and switch. Boof, <laughs> gone. Meanwhile... Vladimir Putin has criticised American justice ha, and has called for fair and transparent FIFA elections. And if anyone knows about fairness and transparency, it's the man who tried to sneak into the Ukraine hoping no one would notice. <laughs> yes, my name's Ben Elton, thanks very much. Good night. <laughs> Our guests this week are the Sepp Blatter and Prince Ali of stand-up comedy. It's <laughs> Ramesh Ranganathan and Ian Moore. <laughs> 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 Don't overthink it. This one, this You're one, the uh, Prince Ali, all right? right? I'm the Prince Ali. You're the Prince Ali. Prince Ali. Yes, yeah, so that's what I was Aladdin. No. And now, uh, Ramesh, uh, always pleased to come on the show. In fact, here's a little montage of Ramesh expressing his delight at once again being on the football zone. Just hopefully today you'll do things properly. And if well, you don't, I will walk. It's a long journey for me. I live in Crawley. <laughs> I don't have to be here. And you're going to give him the point? And this, is a, this is a joke, mate. This whole show <laughs> is a joke. I, that one was actually unfair, wasn't it? It was to That one! <laughs> <laughs> it's completely random and unfair. It's not completely random, is it? It's like how when I get searched at the airport. It's not random, all right? <laughs> <laughs> That's it for this week's he's show. He's off. Right, he's off. Uh, that's our guest. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Rob. It's so nice to have you here. How are you doing? Pretty uh, embarrassing for you to see all that evidence of my mistreatment, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty awkward for you. Get that egg off your face, mate. <laughs> You've been thinking about this all the time. It's, your last, it's the last show of the run. It's your yep. chance to... Safe face, finally. No, mate, don't, I don't care any... You know, like, I, I don't care about winning. I'm not going to try and overcome your obvious prejudices. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just, <laughs> just going to come here, continue to be victimised, and let the audience decide. You've got some issues with me. I don't know what they are. I, I, I don't want to say what they are, because, you know, I think we all know. <laughs> and, 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 so we'll just let the show ride out, and then, you know, we'll just see how it goes. But I'm oh. just glad that people realise how... It's just it's an injustice. It's being done, and there's the video footage, and I'll be using that in court, mate. <laughs> right, that footage. And I hope you look forward to it. Ian, Ian... I no, saw no was... wrongdoing there whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> nor should you have done as well. No, it's all, no, it's all done... Uh, it's nice to see such a harmonious Arsenal family. Yeah. <laughs> We're all getting on very well. Uh, yeah, now the points. Uh, well, yes, well, as you've seen, not everyone likes them. I give them out, and like FIFA <laughs> choosing a World Cup destination, everything is out in the open, and there's not a hint of bribery and corruption. <laughs> And I'd like to announce at this point, the next series will be filmed entirely in Qatar. <laughs> so, FIFA, OMG. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm so out of my depth. I feel so old you know and what? Jewish. Do you know what, Ian? People say you've changed. I don't believe them. <laughs> <laughs> I said that years ago. Uh, FIFA's press secretary, Walter Gregorio, said that the day that a number of their officials were arrested in the dawn raid was a good day for FIFA. Uh, Ramesh, what would constitute a bad day for FIFA, do you think? God knows, mate. I mean, I mean the truth is... What is the truth? The, the truth... Well, I know the truth. Um, oh, no, oh. I, I just sort of think... I don't... I think what FIFA have got going for them is that nobody cares enough because they have the World Cup. Like, you know, uh, you know, they could have so many things going against them. There could be so many allegations of this, that and the other. But what are you going to do? They run the World Cup. Football's good. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just think that they're just... They're just, gonna, <laughs> they're just, gonna, they're just I think... I think that's I, the I, problem, I, though. I know, but I read the list of crimes and the, th and the stuff and I think, that's horrible, but... I do love the World Cup. Yeah. You know, that, that, that's, that's, that's oh, the problem with oh, it. Hang on, that worker has fallen off that scaffold. <laughs> it's another one to add to the pile of bodies yeah. at the bottom. But the game starts in oh, 15 exactly. minutes. Exactly. You Stop can't... looking at the downside. The this... down, there is a... yeah. I think if this, if this week has proved anything, it's that we're rubbish at corruption and we need to improve. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're saying that we... Oh, that's a fair point. We, we, need, we need strong investments in the grassroots of corruption in this country. <laughs> Proper facilities for backhanders. We haven't got it. We are. Well, we're in the East End. We'll start here. <laughs> we'll start we're, here. We're around the corner. I mean, essentially, aside from murder, John Gotti got done for the same thing in America, right? Yeah. Mafia boss. And Capone. And well, Capone, so, yeah, Capone yeah. was the tax, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes, I like the way that we're talking about Capone and John Gotti <laughs> yeah. in the same breath. Not, not Sepp Blatter, by the way, has not been charged with anything. Because no. Sepp Blatter you know will why, survive. Though? Why? Because he's innocent. <laughs> <laughs> the, one, the one thing we never yes, thought of. I know. Do you know, I, I read a thing about, you know, because people are calling him Teflon Sepp Blatter. Yeah. And it's got to the point now where FIFA is so corrupt that Teflon have actually come out and said they want people to stop saying <laughs> it's, it's, it's a genuine thing where they're like, we don't want our brand associated with this kind of behaviour. But, but He's not going to get done, is he? I mean, in the, I was actually thinking about this. If no, there no. was a nuclear holocaust, I think the only things left standing would be Sepp Blatter and cockroaches. Yeah. <laughs> and I think the only way we'd get him is if Sepp Blatter got blown onto his back. They, 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 they... And then he'd just be struggling away, wouldn't he? <laughs> Help us up. No, Sep, you're done now, aren't you? <laughs> and we'd scoop him up and stick him in the bin. What? That'd be the end of Sep. I may be taking this cockroach well, thing you a bit wait, far. No, you really you for a hoping, <laughs> probably. You wait for a hope in the, the vote, which is probably going on now. They're hoping that he'll lose the vote. We are investing our democratic future in the Crown Prince of Jordan. Yes. Who, who have a long history of democracy, folks. Don't knock that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all transparent it above is, board in Jordan. It is. It is. It is. It's, I, 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 but UEFA as well. I mean, UEFA, they're not exactly clean on this, are they? UEFA? You, no. Do you know that the two, two weeks before the World Cup, were, they decided where the venues were, so there was a meeting. Sarkozy called Platini in. Sarkozy with the Crown Prince of Qatar and some investment group. Did he not deny that it was this meeting ever took place? No, he haven't. And Platini's actually said that, yes, Sarkozy asked him to change his vote. And Platini changed his vote, but it had nothing to do with Sarkozy. Oh, right. It was just something that just happened. Yeah, it just happened. He just happened to change his mind because Qatar is a hotbed of football. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they love their football. What about the Americans? I mean, I, I alluded to it at the start. Isn't it great? The Americans are finally coming and said, no, stop it. We'll, t we'll sort it out. Yeah. We'll finally, an American invasion we can all get behind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you saying... So what you've basically said at this point, the Americans have not, basically, uh, they're not going to have a go at FIFA. They're liberating FIFA. They are liberating FIFA for the world match. They are liberating, but they're going to stay there for 15 years. They're all going to end yeah. up a mess. There's just a bottle of oil in a FIFA office somewhere and the Americans have heard about it and they're going in. Do you know, do you know what, though? It's, uh, Americans are now getting on their high... The Americans are now getting on their high horse about FIFA. Do you know good. Well, someone should. No, no, should. mate, I'm not having it. <laughs> you know, like, You're not having it? No, have like, you written to no, someone? No, 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 listen, you know, the Americans are getting on their high horse and now McDonald's have come out and said they're worried about being associated with the... McDonald's? Yeah. That, that paragon of ethics. <laughs> Ma McDonald's. <laughs> what have McDonald's yeah. done to you? Come you on, mate. You don't even mate, eat McDonald's. Come on. Is that, a, is that a, bit, a paragon of ethics burger? That would be nice. <laughs> 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 yes. Uh, now, it is possible uh, that Sepp Blatter could at some point still be looking for a new career. And here at the Football Zone, we think that stand-up comedy might be an option. Uh, this is one of his statements. We must regain your trust and ensure that football is free from wrongdoing. <laughs> yes, I think you could fill the O2 with material like that. Um, I'm going to uh, give out the points for that round. And uh, you know what? He did moan and groan at the start. So uh, let's just to make it interesting at the beginning. I'm going to give the points to Ramesh Ranganathan. Oh, my God. See? Finally, mate. 
See? See, I like your people. Listen, now, that, that's tokenism. I don't want... I, I, I don't... <laughs> If you're, no, if you're, no, if you're going to give me the point, make it. Give, give me the point. I want to be seen as a charity case. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Even in giving the point, you're out of order. You know that. <laughs> there, there. Don't you worry don't about. Don't patronise me. <laughs> now, to be fair to Sepp Blatter, uh, he did at least try to deal with corruption back in 2011 when he set up something called the FIFA Council of Wisdom. Right, I know it sounds like something out of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Uh, the council consisted of Sepp, Johan Cruyff, Henry Kissinger and Placido Domingo. Wow. This is not a joke, OK? <laughs> Sepp did the finance, Johan did the football, Kissinger did the diplomacy and Domingo sung the minutes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's that what you do. Good, that's a good gag. You like that? Thank you very it. much. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I'll give you, a more point. Point. you give me a point for that, I'll give you? you a point, mate. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. No worries, it's very not much. yours to give, but I appreciate it. Brilliant. Even, you know, so I'm, I'm still pointless then here. You two just carried on, aren't you? Just... <laughs> <laughs> this is actually the best we've ever got on all this series. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, all right, let's talk about... Uh, Tony Blair is now free, uh, Middle East Peace Envoy. Can he take over if things don't work out? <laughs> He's, he's That's what, a bit left field, is it? <laughs> Tony, what, you, what? Tony, Tony Blair, Tony Blair <laughs> come in? That came out of nowhere, dude. What, what's going on there? <laughs> he's not the Middle East peace envoy. Yeah. He's done that. That's all sorted now. The Middle East is all yeah. calm. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm glad. Listen, things are getting better. We've made, we made poverty history at ten years ago. I was on yeah. the march. Yeah. I'm glad we sorted all that out. I gave well me spare yet. change to someone and that was done. And then okay. Tony Blair's not Middle East peace envoy. That's all done. He can go in and sort out FIFA. Will that not work? He won't need to sort out FIFA. Set Blatter's staying in FIFA. His first announcement will be, we're leaving Switzerland, we're moving the offices to Moscow. You're not going to get him then. <laughs> of course, Vladimir... Yeah, I know. Vladimir... Oh, you're clapping, but I'm, I don't even show oh, he's yeah, that's joking. That's funny, dear. Corruption and just terror <laughs> and evil. <laughs> oh, laugh it up, Chuckles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Russia, that's the point, isn't it? We're not even talking about Russia 20. Putin, of course, is very upset by what's gone on because he, think he thinks Russia could lose the World Cup. Fingers crossed. They won't now. You think, fingers crossed? Yeah. I don't yeah but, well, yeah, but you like cooking with gas, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, in the end, the choice we make oh, is... Sorry, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. I thought that was a film. I thought, do, 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 do you like cooking with gas? Yeah, it was all right. <laughs> yeah. I, I thought... Three stars. <laughs> I, I took me a second to respond because I thought that was a euphemism initially. <laughs> but I realise you actually mean cooking. I actually gas, mean, yeah. do you want hot food or the World Cup somewhere other than so Russia? You're suggesting that we should, Russia should keep the World Cup so that we can continue cooking. Uh, Is that well, your unless you've got electricity, in which case you're not bothered, I suppose. Okay. Well, I mean, we've moved into a completely different realm here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I see that. I, um, all right, so I, but I don't want... The point is, I'm hoping that... I, in my heart of hearts, I hope they reconsider both. I hope they both... Th at least it will throw it, some, throw it into, into well, question whether they keep the World Cup. Would you think this is the only chance we've got of getting it? If every other country is disqualified, do you think we have a chance? <laughs> or do you think they just play it yeah. in Sepp's back garden or something? Who knows? He's got a big guard, yes. I mean, it's, the, it, the, the criteria for awarding these things just gets murkier and murkier. I mean, the next one on the list is probably the Islamic State. That's where it's going to be held next. <laughs> ISIS 2026. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. 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 Building football up, you know. <laughs> Do you think Sepp Blatter has ever been embarrassed, ever? Do you think he's ever gone, I didn't know where to put myself? <laughs> I, think, I think he was... I think he might have been embarrassed once when he had to actually buy his own watch. Do you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Boom! <laughs> take that, Sepp. Do you know what? I don't take any prisoners, mate. It's not just about, it's not about entertainment, <laughs> it's about uncovering <laughs> truths and this, bringing you the real. If you hard can't, hitting. If you can't handle it, that's not my fault. All right? He is the Donald McIntyre of the football zone. Maybe, may, maybe he <laughs> genuinely doesn't know what's going on. Sepp, maybe, yeah, he, uh, he just him. doesn't that know. Oh, God, that's be, so sad. You know, we're all Wouldn't mocking him and the man's senile. He's a senile old bloke. <laughs> what do you mean you've been taking bribes? Yeah, no one told me anything. Football? What football? Going in, go, you know, they're all going in voting for Sepp, going, I mean, he hands out sweets, he's a nice guy. <laughs> I don't see why we should <laughs> vote against him. I mean, how things play out now is anybody's guess, uh, but I would like to state that I'd be happy for either Qatar or Russia to win the bid to imprison the FIFA officials. Um, <laughs> I'm going to give out the points for that round, and I thought Ramesh bestrode that round like a colossus. Is that all right for you? Is that all right? You're happy with that? I'm... So I'm giving the points to Ramesh Ranganathan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How's that for you? Hey, that's equality, isn't it? Now, <laughs> this is being run by the FIFA Ethics Committee, this match. <laughs> <laughs>
I well, don't know what's going on here. <laughs> no. I actually I'm... find it better when you're not giving me the points. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> oh, well, that's news for the second half. Well, <laughs> after all that, and before we go to break, here's a little light relief. Uh, this is a last-minute entry for the miss of the season from the Portuguese League. Porto's Yassine Brahimi managing to do this in the game against Penafiel. Look at oh, that. That's... Look at that. And I like the way he goes, give it here, give it here. Look, look, there, there, right, on right my feet. Oops. Oh, oh we've all done that, haven't we? It bobbled. It bobbled. Definitely bobbled. You can't say that anymore. You can't what do you say, mean anymore? You can't say the pitches, Why? the pitches, well, because pitches are much better. Bobbleist? That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rule. You have, to a... Say, you have to say there was some turbulence. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would say that. <laughs> the, the I was pitch, saying that the, the pitches pitch was are challenged. Better. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, you can't say any of that anymore. Uh, that's it for part one. The score is two 0 to Ramesh. Surprisingly, yeah. <laughs> well, I believe it. When we return. We'll be taking a look back at the Premier League season. See you in a bit. Welcome back to part two of the Football Zone with our guests Ramesh Ranganathan and Ian Moore. The score is currently 2-0 to Ramesh. Now, for the last time this season, we enter a murky and disturbed world. <laughs> and we're not talking about the FIFA annual general meeting. We're talking about the mind of Keith Dover, man of the people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keith, um, you returned from Zurich? Um, oh, it was terrible out there. <laughs> but I am touched, Are actually. Yeah. No. This... <laughs> yeah, I had somebody come up to me in the street. His face was red and his hands were clenched. And he said to me, he says, I watch your show. I don't believe the stuff you come out with. And I went, I was really touched by that emotion. I went, mean, thanks very much, mate. I appreciate it. <laughs> but I thought I'd go back right. over the things that <laughs> I've said to improve football. Over yes. the, over the, uh, number one, multi-ball. If a game got too boring, we throw on another ball. We all like this uh, idea. Yeah, that's, I think it's a good, a good idea. idea. It started off as a ridiculous no notion, and then but suddenly we went, actually, that's a good idea. It works. It works. So many people pick that up. Mainly other radio stations passing it off as air gags, but that one. Oh! There we go. There we go. We're not, we're not oh! oh! <laughs> right? Uh, the clergy. You know what? That, well, when managing... That is an idea that has been around for a while. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> the clergy is not your idea, the clergy, But, no, <laughs> but, you know, managers were getting stressed out, you know. Yes. So I think it was good to have a man of God, a rabbi, an imam, somebody from the church, just by the manager when they're stressed, giving them a bit of <laughs> clerical advice. I mean, I mean you said... You said, well, you clerical, said uh, what's, what's the word? You know, you know the word. Clerical. You know what I mean. I mean said, advice. You said imam. Imma. Do you mean Imam? Because isn't Imam yeah, like David Bowie. Bowie's wife? <laughs> <laughs> no, he means. Yeah, but he means David Bowie's wife. Right. Right. I think right. that's a good idea. Yeah. It is I a think good either idea. an Imam on or the bench, either. Sam Allardyce, David Bowie's wife. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, awesome. Couldn't go wrong. Maybe Yasmin LeBon. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> She'd do it, wouldn't you? Yeah. Then we've got the Hat of Shame. What was the hat of shame? Well, it's mainly for players who keep diving a lot, you know, and trying it on. So they wear a duncey style hat, and they have to wear that for the duration of the game, rather than giving them a red card. So they wear this hat, yeah. as they look totally ridiculous, and we pinpoint, that's the offender, and they have to wear that. Have you got a hat of shame? No, I haven't myself, because I'm impeccable, you know, I don't... <laughs> you know, I, 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 I'm a man of integrity. Have, have <laughs> you seen some footballers' haircuts, though? Putting a hat on them will actually make them look more sensible. <laughs> <laughs> Marouane Shemak, for instance, yes. and his, and his yeah. new boy's well, donkey haircut. He's already got it himself. <laughs> My favourite for the fixture congestion uh, for the World Cup in Qatar, if that ever happens now, but uh, double up Super Sunday, where teams play two <laughs> games in one Sunday. Oh, I right. remember that I like one. That idea, That's yeah. a good one, that. Got yeah. very confused. Hold on, in Qatar? No, not in Qatar. No, <laughs> oh, right, okay. yes. no, not in. in the middle of the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> then uh, adopt. It's the last one, Ken. Yeah. Adopt a Geordie. Adopt a Geordie. As you would a donkey. <laughs> oh, you know. <laughs> Or, you know, or someone starving somewhere. Uh, <laughs> How does a Dr. Majority help football? Well, they haven't won anything in years, have they? Not since 1969. Right. So what you do is, if you've won the Premier League or the League Cup, you sort of send them your memories, you know, or to invite them to an open-top bus parade. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I didn't know these things drove round town like. That's the kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that it's is almost... good. Oh, oh, come on. I, mean, I see. <laughs> see? <laughs> 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 
listen. <laughs> you can't applaud what sounded a lot like an Indian accent. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> by the way, we'll be hearing more from Keith over later in the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't know what you're talking about, like. <laughs> as close, that's as close to a 70s sitcom as this show has ever got. <laughs> now, the <laughs> Premier League season is over, and Chelsea, I, I think we can agree, were worthy champions. Uh, for other things, uh, for others, uh, things didn't go so well. Stevie G played his last game for Liverpool at Stoke and had the sort of happy ending last seen at the <coughs> Red Wedding on Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ian, are you glad the Stevie G farewell tour is finally over? <laughs> He'll come back. He'll come back. <laughs> no, 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 that's he's, it. That's he's it. like Barbara Streisand. He'll be back for another couple of extra Stevie shows. Stevie G is like Barbara he's, Streisand. He's Barbara Streisand. I've never heard that said. I think he's, well, it's, I think it's good for Liverpool that he's gone. He's the kiss of death, isn't he? He's the, what? he's the kiss of death. He won them about eight trophies. Not for the last few years, though. I mean, he's, you know, I think he's, he's dominated there the last six months of their season. I, it, really, I really think People haven't really stopped talking about it. No, I, and every way, match has been like that. It yeah. has been a bit too much. Like, have, you seen, have you seen him dancing, by the way? Oh, we've got, we've got no. a video of Stephen Gerrard no. dancing here. Um, by the way, look at that. It's uh, excellent camera work there. I don't know uh, who put that up, but he's, he's not bad, is he? If somebody puts a white record on, he's happy to dance. <laughs> what is that? It's in a shopping centre. It's the Touré dance, by the way. That is the, uh, the Colo Touré dance that Steven Gerrard is leading. That's in... Oh, it's, you know, he's such a great dancer. He's the best dancer in the game. What a shame that he's going. Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up, all right? It's Stevie G. It's no, one of the up greatest fed up of hearing about this overrated Stevie G, all right? He's not a god. <laughs> All right, he was a pretty good footballer for a team that have underachieved for the last few years. All right, and, and, and you know we didn't have this eulogy for Frank Lampard, we did we? We, we did. We didn't have it for Frank Lampard for Stephen. Stephen Gerrard, it's like um, it's like the Messiah or something. Like, come on, just chill out. He wasn't all that. All right, <laughs> and, and yeah. if so, listen. If somebody <laughs> wants to take issue with me about that, just tweet me at Paul Chowdhury. All yeah. right, and, and, we, and we can yeah. <laughs> and we can talk about it. Good luck with your tour dates in Liverpool. Yeah. <laughs> Men were crying on the radio, by the way. You know this? On the radio, they were talking about Stephen Gerrard leaving. Grown men were crying. It's... Scouser's getting over-emotional. Who'd have thought? <laughs> Look forward to your win. tour date in Liverpool. Me and Stoney doing a yeah. double-header tour. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I mean, they were getting a little over-emotional about him, but do you think it's about over the top? Do you agree well, with Well, it them? is, but because, they've, because they've had nothing else, have they? This season, they've had nothing else, really, that they can concentrate on. If they'd been winning stuff, maybe it would have been less about Steven Gerrard. But it's all been about him and it's ruined their season. Should he be beatified? <laughs> what, one of Keith's hats? One of, one of Keith's hats. The Pope, the Pope could do something for Stephen Gerrard. Do you know when you said beatified, I just thought, I don't know what that means. And I just assumed it was like when they put Han Solo in that block. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that, I don't know what that means. I've been frozen. I'm, I'm completely lost now in this conversation. Bring him out the cup final in 20 years' time. I, look, look, I, think, I think the thing about Stephen Gerrard is, listen, you know, I may have been a bit harsh. Were you? No. No. Uh, but, but what I would say is, the, the reason that he's sort of held in such high regard is because he's, he's a moments man. You know, like, he, he, he has these moments where he does something... Magical. In a critical... Magical, in yeah. a critical... And, and that, I think, elevates him to some sort of legendary status, which actually, if you look at him in terms of consistency and stuff like that, I, I think he's also... I think Ian, Ian's right in terms of he's been a bit of a stone around the net. He's this, this player, this talisman, but I think that's been to the detriment of Liverpool yeah. Football Club. Must... And, and the reason why you didn't get the same for Lampard is that he didn't start at that club. He's not... He's not, not you've got Chelsea or Man City yeah. or whatever. That's where true. Gerrard has come through the ranks all the way through. So it is a different thing. He but does, he'll be back. But I think you're right, he's a moments man. I went at the cup final in 2006, I believe, when they beat... Uh, when they equalised against West Ham. Yeah. My, my partner, bless her, she bought us tickets for Billy Elliot for the matinee show on Cup Final Day. <laughs> <laughs> and honestly, this is a true story. I came out of Billy Elliot at the matinee, and it was very good, and a, and a man ran past going, that was the greatest Cup Final I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> and my family wet themselves <laughs> laughing. Uh, now, for Liverpool, uh, it is all about looking forward and rebuilding for next season. And with that in mind, they've re-signed Colo Turi and Mario Balotelli isn't going anywhere. <laughs> so good <laughs> luck with that. Um, I'm going to give the points for that round. And uh, oh, you know what? It's difficult, this, because I know Ramesh no, will be a bit not. upset. It, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm going to give the points to Ian Moore, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no.
You like you're happy now? It's what you want. Yeah. Meanwhile, Newcastle's traumatic 2015 has finally ended. Mike Ashley made a rare TV appearance and stated that he's not leaving until Newcastle wins something. <laughs> yeah, like Julian Assange at the Ecuadorian embassy, he could be there for some time to come. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Newcastle. Yeah. Um, do you think it's the fans' fault? Is that what you think? Do you think it's the fans' fault here? Uh, they got rid of Alan Pardew, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I do think that they, that they sort of... Over, I think that they... I think they're a bit spoilt, and they, and they, and they sort of... They spoilt get... by what? All the trophies that they haven't won? Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. so sport's the wrong term. I just think they're... Over... Deluded. Deluded, you... correct. Yeah, yeah, they are deluded. The... I mean, dude, I can't go to Liverpool now, and they're trying to stop me <laughs> going to Newcastle. This tour is getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> One Adopt day. Dr Geordie Anna Scouse. <laughs> yeah, if you're doing that. I mean, but... Newcastle, they got rid of Pardew, and that was a massive mistake, wasn't it? Well, they, they, they turned their anger on Pardew and when it didn't seem to be his fault. I mean, it, clearly, the results they've had since showed what a good job Pardew was actually doing. Kept two clubs up. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, but, but you know, I mean, Newcastle is a basket case, isn't it? It, it is completely... <laughs> yes, join us. <laughs> in the, join us in the Can't Tour Anywhere got... Club, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I've just... I've got no gigs in Newcastle booked in my diary for at least a couple of years. It is they, a bit it, of a crazy place. There's madness, no doubt. It's madness, isn't yeah. it? A bit, I mean, they're, obviously, they're very... Have you ever been in Newcastle on, on a match day? Oh, yeah. You yeah. walk down into town and just thousands of Geordies in their shirts. It's like one big, massive barcode. <laughs> Approaching you up, was, it, is, it is a terrifying retail experience. <laughs> it's a bit like JD Sports. <laughs> it is a bit like. There's well, too I've, much I've in here. This, what do you mean everything is discounted? I've said this before. If Newcastle fans want to get rid of Mike Ashley, the simple thing is smarten yourselves up, stop wearing leisure wear. <laughs> <laughs> You're giving him the money. Of course. Go to a proper clothes but, shop. To be fair, though, you say that to almost everyone. I do say you? that to everybody. Yeah. yeah, you do. And who should they pick next? Who should they have next as uh, Newcastle manager? I can't imagine John Carver's going to get the job. John Carver's management style is essentially... Get in. Yeah. <laughs> well, get Steve, in there. Steve McLaren. Apparently, they're, they're trying to get Steve McLaren. Trying to get he's been before. a massive success. At Derby. Yeah. Oh, let's know this, but, he's, I, but he, was, he, was, he did do well at Derby. I mean, Derby tailed off at the end of the season, fair enough. But he did, they were, you know, like, he did a, do a decent enough job. I just think... He didn't get him up. Well, no, 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 not but... with the budget they have. And, they, and, yeah, they did really badly. But they also had this thing where they couldn't swear. They had this... They couldn't swear. Yeah, the, Derby. He, inst he instigated what, all, this the thing. Whole no players. They, couldn't, they weren't allowed to swear on, in training, on, in the match at referees, they had this thing and they said it gave them kind of zen calmness and that's why they were winning their matches. How brilliant. And they, I don't know if somebody did let go of an F-bomb at some point in training <laughs> and just, just the whole season just tailed <laughs> off after that. I, I'm, I, I hope he becomes Newcastle manager because then... Steve McLaren. When he's get, yeah, when he's getting interviewed, you can see him trying to do the Geordie accent. <laughs> 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 How does the Geordie accent go in? Do show us that Geordie accent again. Geordie Dutch type accent. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give out the points at this point. <laughs> Can't believe you put me under pressure there. And I'm going to give the points. You know what? Ian was winning that round until that last moment. I love that idea. I'm going to give the points to Ramesh Ranganathan. Wow. Three one to Rob. Now, the, uh, the great romantic story of the football season came out Leicester when Nigel Pearson somehow managed to steer them to safety. Yes, he was sacked in February and then reinstated an hour later possibly making him the only Premiership manager on a zero-hours contract. <laughs> <laughs> he should work for Newcastle, really. Uh, he really grabbed the season by the throat, didn't he? <laughs> See what I did? I, know, I, like liked, it. Yeah, I liked, liked it. I liked it a Thank lot. You. Thank you very um, much. <laughs> I, I sort of... Uh, he, it's, it's great what he's done for the club. It's amazing, isn't it? But in, uh, and, it's, and it's lucky that he's done so well for the club, because what he's done off the pitch, in terms of like, the way he's talked to the press and just his general behaviour, has been unacceptable. Do you know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, the, the would you tell him, though? Uh, yeah, damn right I'd tell him. Actually, uh, you would. You're happy to no, upset you, entire you know, cities. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Liverpool, take that. Do you know, do you know, I'm do you coming know, for you, Pearson. I don't mind somebody losing it and flipping out. But of at least you don't. But at no. least... <laughs> That's your default at setting. Least, <laughs> but at least, at least do it well. Do you know what I mean? Like, when, when he was having a go at that journalist about, you know, when he was saying, are you an ostrich? That was weird, wasn't it? He's, what, that's, not your, that's not your go-to insult. Do you, it is. That's not, do you know what? I don't mind what he says to me, but if he calls me an ostrich, I'll tell you what, that is, that's my line in the sand, he and then tried. I stick my head in it. He, like, this, he this, tried all it, sorts But it of... worked. It worked. The nuttier, the more lunatic he became, the better his team did. 
Yeah. They were clearly but terrified of the man. That's true. That's and, 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 and that's why they started with There he is. You can't manage a team based on the fact that you instill a level of fear in them that they think that you might slit their throat in their sleep. Yeah, that's not that's 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 not that's it worked for Sir Alex Ferguson for 27 years. May and I won a load of load of games that way. The, fu the funniest thing about his ostrich thing was when he was saying, you know, can you, can you, this is the weird thing, he took it even weirder than ostrich, because he went, are you an ostrich? I said, can you put, uh, can you put your head, if you put your head in the sand? Are you, are you flexible enough? I don't think you are. I am. What are you talking about, <laughs> Nigel? <laughs> what are oh, you on, on about? We've all, we've all gone down that ostrich cul-de-sac on our <laughs> nice performance. We've tried all before. sorts exactly. of uh, flightless birds. <laughs> um, uh, that is it for part two. Uh, Ramesh is winning 3-1, ladies and gentlemen. 3-1, yeah. uh, Ramesh. When we come back, when we come back, we'll be announcing our very own footballs on Premier League 11 of the season. Back after these short messages. Three of the football's on with our guests, Ramesh Ranganathan, Ian Moore and Keith Dover. Ramesh is currently leading 3-1. Ooh! <laughs> now, <laughs> whilst the football writers are giving out awards for outstanding achievements, mainly to Eden Hazard, we here at the football's on have decided to take an alternative approach and announce our worst Premier League eleven of this season. Now, I should say at this point that Radamel Falcao is on the bench. <laughs> yes, he can't even get into this team. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start with the back five. Uh, we've got... Uh, there they are. Uh, we can discuss some of them. Uh, Chesney in goal. Rom, I'll ask you about Sir Chesney. I mean, he's, he's sort of been... He's just a bit full of it, isn't he, Chesney? Yeah, he... Um, I mean, the smoking thing... In the shower? I know. Who I... smokes in a shower? I, I mean, that... Basically, I think he deserves to get dropped just for showing a lack of common sense. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, <laughs> what are you talking about? Boss, I can't light it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, he should just get dropped for being an idiot. Yeah. Uh, who else I is on there? I who's... Uh, I, I, Chiori's in a, in a sort of Premier League crap team of the season. They're like the Ravens, aren't they, at uh, the Tower of London. When there's, when there's no Traore in a team somewhere, <laughs> the league will just collapse, probably. <laughs> well, let's have a look at the midfield. Uh, we got... Um, uh, there's uh, Laser Markovic, who I've said before sounds like oh, the butcher from Fiddler on the Roof. That seems... <laughs> um, that's all I can think of. Really good. That's all I can think of. When I hear that name, I just think, a blessing on your house, <laughs> <laughs> um, that is and, the uh, only reason you've put him in the Yeah, team, isn't unbelievable. It? Just, just so you've said you nothing, go through your show tunes again. Nothing <laughs> football related about that, Dave. I, listen, the truth is, I, that's the first time I've really known what he looks like. I mean, he's done yeah. absolutely nothing. And Yaya Toure, of course, is. Toure, in... absolute criminal. You know, it, to, from being the centrepiece. Amazing football. Just incredible football. And he doesn't get his cake. Yeah, and then he's like, well, I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. I mean, what is wrong with him? I, he's quite, so, I what's quite so like that attitude. It's not, what's wrong with it? I think, you know, take the money, can't be arsed. I quite like that. <laughs> Which is why you're not like getting that. booked as much as you need to. <laughs> um, let's have a look at the forward line. We have got a brilliant rubbish forward line. Look at that. There's like one goal between them. Wow. Um, we've Listen, got... You can't have Di Maria in there, mate. Why not? Because of that goal against Leicester. Yeah, well, that I, was no, it doesn't nine ma months ago. It doesn't matter, Ian. If you, score, <laughs> if, you, if you score a goal of that quality, it doesn't matter what you do for the rest of the season. You're allowed to not be in the worst team of the season. That's a joke. Because I remember... <laughs> That's a joke, mate. That's right. undermined the whole piece, the whole item for me. <laughs> <laughs> having Did you see the goal? It was a great goal, yeah, but it so was then, in... So it, it was scored, in the summer. He scored, by the way, speaking of that goal, yeah. I think if you score a goal of that quality, the referee should go, this team are not allowed to lose now. Like, whatever happens... Is that happens what you think? That. that sounds like one of Keith's yeah, ideas. I was going to say, good, well, good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like how this show's been running with the point <laughs> system. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> See, he doesn't take the points that well either, to not, be honest. Not like someone as well just as you to have your knickers in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way, we've got this the manager. This is the stroppiest show we've ever done. Oh, no, no, no. He's done other shows. Um, <laughs> uh, we've got the manager. Stephen Gerrard is on there, by the way, because uh, he hasn't really done his uh, business. Yeah. And the manager is, of course, John Minule. Carver. Minule has got more clean sheets than any other goalkeeper in the league. Uh, yeah, that might be a slight error. <laughs> <laughs> to to rattle, oh, fair enough, then. <laughs> 
Tarat. <laughs> Tarat. Tarat, but for being three stone overweight. Yeah, he didn't a, look three stone just, overweight. Just a sulky, just waste of space. You know, like, and what's so frustrating about him is he's a hugely talented player. He is. He's one and of And then those. he's just decided he's going to throw a sulk and just not bother it. It's just so. Well, this is Yaya Again, Toure. Again, yeah. I Again. Quite like that. I quite like that. You <laughs> yeah. Well, you okay. Need Mavericks. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, Maverick. going to, uh, I'm going to give out the points uh, for this round. And uh, I can't believe that Ramesh actually questioned the whole idea of putting Angel Di Maria. <laughs> Uh, in, so I'm giving the points, of course, to Ian Moore, ladies and gentlemen. Fight back. I, I don't mind losing the points on a joke item, which that was, by having Di Maria in the team. <laughs> like, so the whole thing's undermined for me. If anything, you can have that point, Matt. I don't want it. It's not good enough for me. Well, that, that point. <laughs> You're only taking valid That's points. What an Arsenal attitude that is. Now. <laughs> They've turned on you, mate. Ladies. You're losing the crowd. Oh, I'm the only in. Villa fan in this room. <laughs> <laughs> no, Prince William's in the yeah. back. Um, <laughs> David Cameron will be here soon. Uh, the Champions League final is coming up on Saturday week when two teams much better than any of ours will contest the Champions League final. It's a South American all-star attack. There they are against a stubborn Italian defence. There he is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> essentially, bunga, I love bunga. a visual game. Essentially, the irresistible force against the immovable <laughs> object. Uh, Rom, you fancy Barcelona? I, I mean, I think so, but I, I do It'd think... It'd be good, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Yeah. Such a fantastic defence. contrast such of a fantastic styles. Attack. I do think... I think Barcelona might take them a little bit too lightly. I, 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 read, I read an interview with, with Messi, when he, and he said... We're, we're, you know, people are saying that we're the favourites, but we're going to prepare to play them as we would do in any other game. Now, to me, that's, that is arrogance. Do you know what I mean? Like, don't worry, we will do warm-ups and stuff like that. We're, we're, we're going to go through all the motions and really going to give you a good try. Do you know what I mean? But you are crap. You know, that's... So I think that... You know, I think it'll be exciting. I think it'll be exciting. What I would love is for Juve to get a, an early goal. That, that would be, be the amazing. perfect scenario, wouldn't it? Yeah, it won't happen, though, will it? <laughs> you are really I hate, a I hate to put a presence. downer on you romantics over there, but it's going to be 3 0 to Barcelona in seven minutes. No, it's, we're talking about some, one of the, some of the best defenders yeah. in the world. Uh, Suarez will have gone for a second course on Chiellini. <laughs> <laughs> we were saying last week, he had a starter, he thought, I'll come back yeah, to the exactly, main course. Exactly. Yeah, no, I, I am actually looking forward to it, and, I, yeah. and, and I'm, Lionel Messi has been. Just the man of the season for me. More. I mean, I love the way he's played, but also for the fact he's upset Cristiano Ronaldo so much. Yeah. Isn't that been beautiful? Yeah, you know? I don't... I don't um... think that's very difficult, though, is it? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a stroppy git, doesn't he? Cristiano Ronaldo? Yeah, it looks like anything would upset him very easily. If you moved his bottle of gel in the shower, that'd be it. It'd be flouncy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to give out the points. It's to Ramesh Ranganathan! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Ron's winning! Finally! Rom is winning. <laughs> Part three is done. The score is 4-2 to Ramesh Ranganathan. When we come back, we'll be looking forward to the FA Cup final and some of the summer treats coming your way. See you in a bit. Part four of the football's on, the final part of the final show of the season. Oh. With our guests Ramesh Ranganathan, Ian Moore and Keith Dover. They didn't mean that. <laughs> yeah. No, just doing that is enough, isn't it, really? <laughs> uh, the score is currently 4-2 to Ramesh. So, it's FA Cup final day tomorrow. And you can see it live here on BT Sport. Now, there's been the usual complaints from both sets of fans about the unfair ticket allocation to the real supporters. And with this in mind, the FA have come up with a novel solution of firing two VIP passes into space and letting us all wait for them to fall out of the sky. <laughs> yeah, you can't get fairer than that. Um, this is, I'm not making now, by the way. That is true. You know that. I bet they, they did land that. in Zurich. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we know where the points are going for this round. Uh, uh, Rom, uh, you're not going tomorrow. You can't go, can you? No, I'm going to Kilkenny for oh, comedy. That'd be fun. <laughs> yeah. That'd be fun. Don't insult Kilkenny, otherwise the gig won't go well there either. <laughs> and then no, you'll I, miss I, I love Kilkenny. Kilkenny and I'm looking, no, I'm looking forward to doing the festival. But you will be seeing the game. Yes, but basically it's thanks to me that Arsenal have made it to the FA Cup. Oh, final, why? Because I booked that gig. <laughs> like, so, so, because I had to... Because I, was, I, I booked this gig, that means that I'm definitely going to miss it. So that's why Arsenal got to the FA Cup. You know who final. you sound like at this point? Who? Keith. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is exactly the sort of thing that Keith would say. I've got my shirt on. I've got my lucky socks. I mean, Keith, you're going tomorrow. I'm you? going, and uh, but nothing predicts a cup final like an aquatic seabird. <laughs> Right. This is absolutely true. <laughs> the National Sea Life Centre in Birmingham, right, their staff member, and I don't make her name up, Naomi Bird, right, <laughs> says that Ginny, the penguin, has predicted that Villa will win the cup. Right. Uh, basically, they've got two buckets, one with a Villa crest, one with an Arsenal crest, and the penguins have been going to the Villa one. Is the fact that it's probably got yeah. herring in there, you know. Yeah. But this is not the first time, because you remember there was Paul the octopus during the World I Cup? I do. There's been a number of animals predicting scores. 1966, Barry the pig. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> to be so, fair, that um, was just Barry. He wasn't that, a pig. Barry the <laughs> pig. <laughs> No, but he, he got the score right as well. It, it, you're going to be uh, you're going to be supporting Villa tomorrow. Up the Villa. Ugh. That's how we talk up there. I was born. Sorry, in, that's uh, as good an accent as my Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Me, Prince William, Villa fans. David Cameron, yeah, as we Villa said. Fans. This is how Prince William speaks at home. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad. That, I'm so glad that the state opening yeah. of Parliament is finished. All right, Kate. Where's our kid? <laughs> 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 Ron, do you do any accents at all? Uh, none that we can do on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I actually think I'm, I, I think it's nice for the cup final because basically. Nice. Well, I just think it's nice that, uh, that Villa have made it to the final because they've got a point. You were talking but, about patronising no, earlier. But, That's but, but listen, I just think Aston Villa, the most pointless club in the whole league. Like, <laughs> why do they exist? Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, come on, mate. It's just nice that they've wow. got a reason to sort of be around. Do you know what I mean? Tomorrow. Gigging solely in London for the next <laughs> yeah. three years. Ramesh will not be living North London. I hope Villa win it. I do, I, I'm, I I'm a Tim Sherwood fan. And uh, this room is just gooner ridden with you people. <laughs> gooner gooner uh, ridden. Yeah, I know. It makes me angry. I lose all articulate seat. But I. <laughs> you never had that. <laughs> I like Tim me. Sherwood. I, do I, you yeah, like Tim what, Sherwood? What do you like about him? I like. Uh, he's a breath of fresh air. There's that kind of. He's what, not. Coat he's not, throwing he's, or the. Yeah, he's, he's everything. He went in. He's changed that Villa side around without actually doing much. Sorry. Saying, go out and kick the ball towards the goal. If Hull had. If Burnley uh, had beaten. Uh, sorry, if Hull had beaten Burnley, Villa would have gone down. Just to let you know. Yeah, but they didn't. Yeah, I know that. But that well, wasn't really uh, Tim Sherwood. Well, then what kind of fact is that to throw at me? It's just <laughs> fan <laughs> fantasy. Right. Uh, Where do this you want is the actually, to go in? Well, I'm just thinking. <laughs> this is actually an interesting <laughs> final because it pitches uh, two very different managers against each other. In the one dugout, you've got the professorial, cool, calm and collected, laid-back managerial style. And then there's Arsene Wenger. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Because you thought it was Tim Sherwood, you see? Ooh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give the points <laughs> for that round. Oh, we've got to play football. Just don't push them. <laughs> that is the worst Tim Sherwood <laughs> I've ever heard. <laughs> and for that, uh, Ramesh Ranganathan gets the points, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. <laughs> Sadly, sadly, the FA Cup final marks the end of the domestic football season and that long, long hiatus before the start of the new season. 71 days, if anyone's counting, and I'm sure some people are. <laughs> Fortunately, there are now post-season friendlies. Spurs play Sydney tomorrow. The Under-21 Championships, pre-season friendlies, and because of their entry into the Europa League via the fair play system, West Ham start pre-season training on Monday morning. <laughs> uh, Ian... Can we win the under 21s? Do you think we can win? We've got a chance. I mean, Harry Kane. Yeah, we're going to win it. We are going to win it. Definitely. The England are in a major tournament. We always do well. We do. <laughs> we do. You're feeling very hopeful. Possibly go wrong. <laughs> That's true. I think, yeah, I like Gareth Southgate. He's from Crawley. Yeah, I know. You're, yeah. You're, and I used to live in Crawley as well. It's a very Crawley thing. I like Gareth Southgate. You just like people who are from Crawley. Not yeah. always. That's why I moved to France. <laughs> 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 Once Gareth moved out, you went, there's no point yeah. in being here. No, no yeah. point uh, Rom, uh, all this football in the summer, we were saying Spurs are playing Sydney tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be uh, tuned into that one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is live on BT Sport, just to let you know. Not well, I'm going to kill Kenny, that's the only one. Oh, of course, yes. yes <laughs> We've of got course. the Women's World Cup as well. There's a Women's World weeks. Cup as well. Yeah. I mean, essentially, there are, there are no breaks whatsoever. And yeah. that's good, isn't and it? And isn't also, the, isn't the Premier League starting a week early? Premiership starting a week early to give England more time to, uh, if they qualify for the Euros, give us yeah. more time. And also, what they should do is replay every World Cup since 1994 over the summer because it, they've all been bent. <laughs> <laughs> The last, the last so really, straight World Cup was Yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? With, with the original players as well. <laughs>
Come on, we can make this happen. That's a great idea. My goodness, Keith, you've been out, Keith. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a great idea. Absolutely beautiful idea. And you won't be surprised that for that reason, the points go to Ian Moore, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> One good idea is enough to sway me. <laughs> uh, for the last time this season, it is time for this. Uh, Saints and Sinners. Uh, normally it's of the week this, this week, of course. It's of the year. So our panellists give us their Saints or Sinners of the year. And we discuss them in an amusing way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why start now? <laughs> uh, Rom, you got a Saint or a Sinner? I've got a Sinner. Have you? I can't believe it. Yeah. What have you got? Cesc Fabregas. Oh, let it go. I'm not letting it go, mate. <laughs> and let me tell you why, right? I don't know <laughs> what the movements were that ended up with him being at Chelsea. Right? First of all, it's the least he could do... He's tw he tweeted once, Ian, once a gooner, always a gooner. Yeah. Right? So, go to Chelsea. Don't mind you going to Chelsea. You're getting paid decent money. Play rubbish. Have the decency <laughs> to play rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Very, and then he got the face point. mask, and I thought, well, hopefully that'll affect him somehow. And it didn't. He was still good. Yeah. I hate him. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's you've obvious. got Van Persie, though. Uh, Keith, have you got, we got Van Persie. I, I've got a, a villain, the FA. They've banned uh, Aston Villa from having a banner which says, never mind the Arsenal, we're the Villa. Yes. And apparently you can't use the opposing team's name. But no. the Arsenal fans have said, we haven't got a problem with it. Everybody wants it. It's quite... It's the iconic sort of Sex Pistols album cover. Yeah. But the FA have said you can't have it. And it's just stupid. It's it cost them 3,000 quid as well. <laughs> 3,000 quid. <if> <laughs> 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 Didn't know that. Uh, there was some money washing around... That's a house. Somewhere. Uh, that's a house. <laughs> do you, Ian, do you have a saint or sinner <laughs> of the year? I'm going to... Actually, my saint, I'm going to go with uh, Jonas Gutierrez. I think that's a Cinderella story. Fantastic. Genuinely, genuinely good end of the season. Um, you know, I quite like that. I know it's a feel, like it's that. a feel, it's a feel good end. I, I, I think we're all with you there. Uh, now uh, we're looking forward. Uh, that was nice. It wasn't funny, but it was nice. Uh, <laughs> Uh, we're Nothing looking funny forward. About cancer, mate. <laughs> you have absolutely right. We're looking forward, uh, of course, to the uh, cup final on BT Sport tomorrow from five. Uh, that's it for the show, ladies and gentlemen. The final score is five three to Ramesh Ranganathan. <laughs> oh my God! He won. He has won. <laughs> that's it. That is it for the season. Our thanks to our guests, Ramesh Ranganathan, everyone. <laughs> Ian Moore. Keith Dover, and indeed all our guests over the last 43 weeks. We'll be back with the new footballs on in the autumn and we're off to spend the summer in Set Blatter's palatial apartment in the Maldives. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon.